This SKF training film is about Y-bearing units. The Y-bearing is based on the deep groove ball bearing and consists of a wide inner ring, a row of balls secured by a cage, and a sphered outer ring. The Y-bearing is filled with grease and sealed on both sides. The sphered outer diameter of the bearing fits into a matching sphered bore in a range of housing types, which can be made of cast iron or pressed steel. It's a simple and economic bearing solution to applications to be found in many industries. Y bearing units can accept static misalignment, up to five degrees are permissible in maintenance-free applications, reducing to two degrees when relubrication is required. Adapter sleeve mounting can be used for shafts which have a reverse direction rotation. The most common cast housings are the two-bolt hole pillow block, the four-bolt hole flange housing, the two-bolt hole flange housing and the take-up unit. There's also a wide variety of pressed steel housings. Y-bearing units, because of their simple, robust design with excellent sealing, are to be found in agricultural equipment, screw conveyors and fans, where the loads are relatively light and speeds moderate. It's important to realise these bearing units have no axial freedom. To dismount a Y-bearing unit with an eccentric locking collar, loosen the grub screw. By using a hammer and drift, unlock the eccentric collar, and with the bolts removed from the housing, the unit can now be removed from the shaft. The dismounting of Y-bearing units located by grub screws is even simpler. After loosening the two grub screws with the housing free, the unit can be removed. Do not remove the bearing unit from its protective package until everything is ready to mount the unit. The location method in this instance is the eccentric collar. This method can only be used on shafts where the direction of rotation is constant. Using the hammer and drift, tighten the eccentric collar in the same direction as the shaft rotation. Then tighten the securing grub screw. Y-bearing units with grub screw locking can accept reverse direction rotation and are simpler to fit. First secure the bearing unit to its base and allow the shaft to take an unstressed position in the bearing ball before tightening the grub screws onto the shaft. Mounting Y-bearing units secured to the shaft with an adapter sleeve is a more complicated process. This method is also capable of accommodating reverse direction rotation and can run at higher speeds and smoother operation than the other methods. Correctly position the adapter sleeve and the Y bearing on the shaft after lightly oiling the components. Place the housing in its correct position and make sure at this stage that it's not tightened down. Using the appropriate spanner, tighten the lock nut to the torque values given in the SKF catalogue. This is to ensure that the internal bearing clearances are not completely removed. When the correct fit is achieved, check the housing position and secure it to the machine frame. Make sure no stresses are locked in the bearing. Remove the lock nut and fit the locking washer and replace the lock nut and secure it. The mounting of the Y bearing on an adapter sleeve is completed.